हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ नोमन पटेल एंड टूडे वी विल बी लुकिंग इन टू दी सेवेंथ पार्ट ऑफ अवर सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स विच इज़ ऑन बायो केमिस्ट्री स्पॉटर्स इफ यू आर व्यूविंग दिस डिरेक्टली आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दी पार्ट वन पार्ट टू एंड सो ऑन सो दैट यू विल बी इन सिंक्रनी एंड डज नॉट मिस एनी ऑफ दिस स्पॉट एज ईच एंड एवरी स्पॉट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड नो वन नोज दैट विच स्पॉट इज गोइंग टू बी आस्क इन एग्जाम यू कैन व्यू द प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ स्पॉटर्स बाई क्लिकिंग ऑन दी आई बटन ऑन द टॉप ऑफ योर स्क्रीन Also, I have put the link of my previous videos in the description box. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do subscribe as it will be useful to you because I am uploading such useful videos every now and then. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever video is uploaded. So let's begin with the seventh part of the biochemistry spotters. So the fifty-first spot shows. a uh, conversion of the glucose molecules from alpha configuration to the beta configuration and in the equilibrium a uh, particular glucose molecule is obtained so we have to identify this phenomenon and define this phenomena so this phenomena is a muta rotation uh, the definition is that carbohydrates can change spontaneously uh, between the alpha and the beta configuration through the formation of intermediate open chain this will lead to a process that is known as the muta rotation it is basically a gradual change of specific optic optical rotation of the sugar let's look into the next part so based on the given image we have to identify the molecule we have to name the linkage it is present and what is the specific test to identify this molecule in the lab so based on the image the given molecule is sucrose the linkage present in this molecule is between the carbon 1 of the alpha glucose and carbon 2 of the beta fructose so it is the alpha 1 beta 2 glycosidic linkage inversion test is used to identify sucrose in the lab so be or uh, next spot says that uh, uh, what is this uh, image and uh, according to it we have to identify the molecule name the linkage and what is the specific test to identify this in the lab so based on the image the given molecule is of uh, maltose the linkage that is present in it is the alpha 1 4 glycosidic linkage so here it is both that is the carbon 1 has alpha configuration and carbon 4 has also alpha configuration that is alpha 1 4 glycosidic linkage what is the test so the test is the osazone test that is used to differentiate the maltose and it gives sunflower shaped crystals so the next spot states that uh, uh, there are two test tube the first one is the control and the second is the test so based on this we have to identify the test we have to write the principle of the it so uh, the given test is the selivanoff test and the principle of the selivanoff test is that keto hexoses on treatment with hydrochloric acid form 5 hydroxy methyl furfural which on condensation with resorcinol gives a cherry red color complex so this cherry red color complex we can easily see in the second test tube that is the uh, test let's move to the next spot so the next spot gives that there is a conversion of the bca that is branch chain alpha keto acid into the coa derivative that is coenzyme a derivative so we have to name the inborn error of metabolism due to the enzyme deficiency basically that is there is some enzyme that is required in conversion of the branch chain alpha keto acid into a coa derivative so due to absence of this enzyme we have to name the uh, uh, metabolic disorder due to this so the given inborn error of metabolism is maple syrup urine disease that is msud and it is associated with the elevated body fluid le fluid levels of bcas that is branch chain alpha amino acid that is uh, leucine isoleucine and valine let's move to the next spot so uh, in the next spot based on the image we have to identify the structure we have to write its rda that is recommended dietary allowances and what are the deficiency manifestations of this so the given structure is of the vitamin b12 uh, the rda typically is 1 to uh, 25 mg per day in case of older ch children it is 1.8 mg per day in case of adults it is 2.4 mg per day and in case of pregnant women and breastfeeding women this is increased to 2.6 and 2.8 mg per day 
so the deficiency manifestations of the vitamin b12 are pernicious anemia and graves disease let's move to the next spot uh, in the next spot on the basis of the image we have to identify the structure and we have to mention the compounds that are derived from it so this is a very important spot and uh, 90 to 95 chances uh, our percentage chances are there this is this spot is going to be asked so the given structure is of the cholesterol molecule and the compounds that are derived from it are bile salts and a variety of steroid hormones like glucocorticoids mineralocorticoids androgens estrogens this figure shows that the cholesterol molecule is converted to pregnenolone and pregnenolone is converted to the uh, progestogens and this progestogens and they are converted into the steroid hormones like glucocorticoid mineralocorticoid androgens estrogens etc so let's move to the next spot uh, this is the last spot so based on the given figure we have to identify the crystal and we have to uh, mention the shape of this crystal so uh, see this kind of uh, questions are only three so there among this uh, three there are 100 percent chances that uh, any one of the spot can be definitely asked in the exam so uh, you have to compulsory do these three spots uh, thoroughly so let's move to the answer so based on the shape that is the sunflower shape the given crystal is the maltosazone crystal so you need to know what are the shape of maltosazone crystal what are the shape of the glucosazone crystal etc so guys uh, if you really like the video do subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up and also don't forget to share this uh, with your friends colleagues and other uh, friends and thanks a lot for watching and uh, you can contact me on my instagram account here i am posting interesting videos such as videos on surgery case presentation and lots of other things related to the medicine